in this video, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, something that you should know about Zaho Deluge. Um, it's not like it, it's it's in the documentation, but what it talks about in the documentation uh, is not very helpful for a, a new developer. Um, it won't say the implications of of this. So uh, I'm sharing my screen here, and the thing I want to show you is. I've got this map, right? I've, this is a test map. I have this map here and uh, I have a key value in that map and then I make a list and then I have a key value of that list into the map, right? And then I send it to a particular endpoint. Now this is our, our custom endpoint and I'll show you why we're doing this in a second. But given this, right? If I save and execute, so I'm infoing this here, if I save and execute, what you're going to see is something that looks like this. And this is what you would expect in terms of JSON for the map, right? Now, for most new developers, you'd info and go, okay, great. This is what I kind of want it to look like. And if we look at an API reference out there, I have your um, QuickBooks, right? This is kind of what you want to see, right? Is um, a JSON object with key value pairs, right? However, um, what I've done is I've sent it off to this endpoint and it's going to allow us to inspect it. And I'm just going to go to that endpoint and click refresh. What you're going to see is it looks like this. It's not exactly what you wanted to send it, right? Um, even though I'm saying the content type is JSON, right? It doesn't get sent to JSON. So why is that? Well, Zoho Deluge defaults all API calls to application uh, URL, uh, www.form URL encoded. So it puts it in the URL. Now, this isn't a problem because a lot of endpoints automatically um, adjust for this kind of data, but for some of them, it doesn't. And, and an example of one would be uh, QuickBooks. Uh, ironically enough, uh, Zoho also doesn't interpret um, URL encoded particularly well. Um, so if that's the case, there's actually a very simple solution, right? I'm just going to put a dot to string here. And now when I save and execute, it's the same, it's the same data, right? I'm just going to refresh this right here and scroll up. And this is how it shows up now. Now this is real JSON. Actually a really quick solution uh, for an undocumented, uh, or it is docu documented. Uh, it just says that it, it makes it um, URL form encoded. Thanks very much.